Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I also hope you're staying safe out there. So let me first apologize for missing last Saturday's upload. You see, I have this great, it's like a garbage truck going by. I have this great idea for a video I wanna do and it's just taken me a lot longer than I thought. But I'm here now and I thought I would, this isn't the video that I was working on. I don't know how long that's gonna take me, but I'm here now. So we had put in our 30 days here at this apartment. I know it's been like two years almost. And um, we're moving, I know, I know. Are these things flashing? Oh, wow. Okay, we're moving in 30 days and um, I know what you're thinking. Bailey, why are you moving in the middle of this pandemic? Well, kitty cats, <laughs> this is America, okay? And in America, we put money first. So that's why we're moving. But in all seriousness, um, yeah, this is America. <laughs> and they don't give a shit. Shit is still happening. We have to get the fuck out of here and we're moving. So I thought, hey, I've never done a video where I showed you guys like my filming spot and slash or my makeup slash and or office space. And I thought, hey, now's the perfect time. Let's do it. Let me show you a little behind the scenes. I cleaned it because I wanted to give off this perception that I have my life together. So it doesn't normally look like this. I mean, or does it? I guess we'll never know. I uploaded an apartment tour. I'll link it down below if you're curious to see our apartment in general, but I didn't show this room because this room was a fucking mess. It was a disaster. And I was like, there's no way in hell I could show it. But now it's, yeah, let me just shut up and show you. Okay. So this right here is wallpaper. It's peel and stick wallpaper. Let me tell you, groundbreaking. I didn't even know this existed. It was pretty inexpensive. It was actually a lot easier to apply than I thought it was gonna be. I got it off of Wayfair and you literally peel, stick it on and it completely just transformed my room. I went with like this floral design. So it's like all the way up. Isn't it cute? Wow, hi. I mean, if you get close enough, you could see the imperfections up, up in the corners. We kind of fucked that up, but who's looking up there? Are you? You shouldn't be. It's supposed to be super easy to remove and not ruin any paint, which is fantastic because when we get the fuck out of here, I want my deposit back, you know? When we leave, I'll let you know if it like ruined the paint at all. It says it's not supposed to. So over here in this corner, we have photos, we have um, brushes that are framed and hung up. And then we have this cute little ottoman frames that I had full intentions of hanging up here, but I know what you're thinking. Bailey, oh my God, you're so conceited and full of yourself because you have these photos of yourself up on the wall, but let me show you how cute I look. So these are photos I did for, I think a tattoo magazine. They're cute. And if you're not your own biggest fan, then who is gonna be? And then I have some framed brushes over here from Makeup Forever. These ones have my name engraved on them. So I wanted to put them in a shadow box, which I did. When I first started doing, it's so hot in this room. This is, ugh. I normally always try to avoid filming at between the hours of three and five, 6 p.m. because it gets so stinking hot in this room. Like you, I melt and these lights get so hot, holy, crap, you know? So of course it's like six right now. It's just hot. Okay. So bear with me. But what I was going to say is I know this lighting system is very expensive. Trust me. I, I understand. But when I started doing YouTube and for most of my YouTube career, I first started on my iPhone. At that time, I think I had like an iPhone four. I would just film my videos on there and then I would download a free app, edit my videos on my phone. That's how I used to do my first starting out videos. It worked. 
whatever. And then I upgraded to a Sony A. I'll leave in the description box, I'll find it. But I bought that camera used on Amazon again many years ago. And then I started filming with that camera and just using the lighting in my room. So I never really had like a lighting system. I just would always use like what I had. I would use like a lamp in front of me. Like it always worked. So I didn't like come swinging out the gates with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like use what you have and then slowly build to your filming collection. And if you've been following me for a while, I'm sure you've watched like the progression of lighting. It just has gotten better. And right now I feel like I'm at a place where I really like the lighting. I think it's like nice. It looks good. I like it. But it gets so hot in here. So I think when we move, we'll see. But I would like to sell these and then upgrade to the LED one because the LED lights are supposed to not get hot. And um, that would be amazing because trying to do your makeup when you're sweating your tits off is not, it ain't, it's not, it doesn't work. It just drives me wild. So I have these two lights set up right here and normally my camera goes right here. This is the other side of the table. So those are the two lights and then the camera would be normally right there. The mic <laughs> the microphone is all taped up because it never, it just didn't ever stand still. It drove me wild. This is the chair that I absolutely hate. It just sucks. This is on wheels so I can move it if I want to, which I find super helpful. We found it in the garbage. <laughs> we saw this table on wheels. Somebody had thrown it away and I was like, hey, let's get that. And so we did, like, that's how I got it. This cabinet I got on Wayfair and it holds, I'll show you guys, but it holds a bunch of stuff in there. And then on top of it is what is behind me, obviously when I'm filming, I just recently got a bunch of new, oh my God, you motherfuck. Sorry, that was my light. It sometimes moves on its own. Okay, I just recently got more candles because I wanted more. So I, this isn't permanent, this little setup, I'm gonna change it, but I was, uh, that's how it is right now. And then up here we have the lights, the little twinkle lights, and I have some curtains. Curtain rods up here so I could hang curtains or backgrounds. Um, there is no window behind there. This wall is like this ugly yellowish color and it was just so ugly on camera. So I was like, let's put up curtains. Great idea. I actually probably won't get my deposit back because there's like some huge holes in the wall over here from where the screws went. I actually probably should just let go of that idea. It's probably not gonna happen for me. Okay, so let's check this out because this is where all the goods are at. So when I sit here at my table and I'm either just getting ready in general or doing a video, it's nice because I could just open this up, turn my fat ass around, cause Lord forbid I get up and then kind of grab whatever I need from here. So this has like hair clips, bobby pins, all that stuff. This one has hair brushes, headbands. This one, honestly, I could just probably empty out completely because I never use it. It has some skincare in there. Most of it, probably all of it is expired, but I have a hard time letting things go. That could be a whole nother video. Okay. And then in here I have a uh, styling stuff, hairspray, foundation and concealer. These are my weakness. You're going to be seeing a lot of these. Do not judge, I do not judge you. This is embarrassing to say, but these two are like my all my favorites. <laughs> I know, there's a lot, but like these are always the things I, tend to grab the most. So I put my favorites in here. Down here I have heat tools, so straightener, curling iron, stuff like that. And then over here on this side is where we have eyeshadow palettes. I also forgot to say these I got at the container store. It's technically a shoe storage pull out drawer, but it's perfect for makeup. I like these so much better than these, which 
I'll show you in a minute, but these are way better. Unfortunately though, they're like $12.99 for one. I think I had a coupon, so I kind of went nuts. I tried to organize it by brand and then it just kind of turned into a mixture, but I kind of know where every, like it's an organized mess. I really need to go through here and just do a deep clean, do purge, get rid of stuff. I have issues when it comes, <laughs> I mean, I could get rid of stuff. I really can, I'm very good at it. But when it comes to makeup, like I can tell you when I got this palette, I could tell you how I felt so guilty for spending 45, I think it was $42 on this. And I was like, fuck. That's a, like, you know, I just have stories for every palette. They're like my children. These are like my children. But to be honest, I need to go through and do a deep clean. I need to get rid of stuff. I don't use half of this and I will. Just not today, just not today. And then we have these. Oh, that is my giveaway and donation been. Um, I've just kind of been waiting to do a giveaway until this whole coronavirus thing kind of passes over, which I think it's fair to say isn't going to happen for a long time. I just wasn't sure if like giving makeup away and stuff could potentially harm people. So I was just like waiting. So over here are the famous Alex drawers that you could see on just about every single beauty guru's uh, room tour. And that's definitely where I got the idea to get these. I think years ago I saw someone's video and they had these and I was like, oh my God, I have to get them. But honestly, I hate these. I hate these because they're cheap. They're tipping over. This one is lopsided. It's, it's going to fall. This is like the Halloween stuff, the body painting. And we have glitter. I have random stuff that I don't know. I have no idea where this came from, but it's in here. So that's good. New Lip originally was just that. It was for new lip products, but it's turned more into just a mess. Concealer. If you know anything about me, you should know. Concealer. Now, if I could try every concealer on the planet, I definitely would. Now, to be fair, I was a freelance makeup artist full time, seven years. I worked retail during that time. And then I also quit that and then was freelancing full time. So I have a lot of makeup because for my kit, you have to buy colors that you can, you can mix and create colors with. I use that as my excuse a lot of the times as to why I have so much. I mainly use Tarte Shape Tape and then the Jouer Concealer. I'd say these two are my go-to. I could probably just get rid of everything else, but unattached oh my gosh <laughs> blush mainly powdered blush i have a couple of creams these ones i want to try from covergirl they are the clean fresh cream blush i haven't tried them yet so i'm gonna try those soon these i love m cosmetics have you tried these they're really good the blush serum they're so pretty and that's my review Liquid highlight. I rarely use liquid highlight. I feel like I could definitely just... Is this going to be a video of me just telling you how I could get rid of everything? Okay. This is also why I hate these drawers because this happens. And it's from something down here. Great. There we go. This is my bronzer drawer. Bronzer and contour. <laughs> oh my god. This is my favorite, but they reformulated it, so I'm very disappointed. Powder highlight. You know, like I want to use all of this at the same time. There just isn't enough face to use it all. Eyeshadows. So these are the single eyeshadows, and then I also have cream eyeshadows all right here. Cream, 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 glitters. Single eyeshadows. This is a fun drawer. It's very colorful. I like this one. And then down here, I have my loose setting powders. Skin tools is pretty empty. There's not much in there. Setting spray. This one's my favorite, hands down. Elf Makeup Mist and Set. This is like a dupe for the MAC Studio Fix, uh, Fix Plus. The ingredients are almost pretty damn similar. And this is like $3. I have been loving this one. Brows, mascara, and liner. 
lashes. Lashes are pretty organized. I'm actually uh, kind of impressed with how I organized these just recently. Bold face. I love these lashes. I think I use them in every single video. Bold face makeup is the brand. I love their lashes. I love them. I love them. More lashes. And then over here we have tanning stuff, which is from like uh, last year mainly. So I wonder if it's all expired. I would assume it would be. Which is a shame. And then over here in this corner, I have stuff that I'm just trying to hide, like luggage, my old curtain. Over here, we have lipsticks. These are all my nude lipsticks. I organized it by cream lipstick and then liquid lipstick, liquid lipstick, gloss, gloss. And then, boo -boo -doo -doo. NARS actually sent this in a PR box. Wow. Isn't that nice? It's major. This is cool as shit. And then back here I have, um, I like to make collages or like vision boards and stuff. So I wouldn't say this is a vision board, just a collage of pretty things. A mirror. Hi. It's me. This plate. Do I have to, I don't have to show you everything. What am I doing? My little cart. I use this a lot. So when I sit down and I'm ready to film, I just pull this out because it has a little bit of everything. My brush cleaner. This is my favorite brush cleaner. It's Cinema Secrets. I have some eyeshadow brushes down here, some sponges. Up in the middle section, I have a shit ton of brushes. They really, really need to be cleaned. So I hope to make that happen one day. And then up here I have eyelash curler, eyelash glue. I have, as you can see, a shit ton of pencils. These are eyeliners, these are lip liners. And I like it because, you know, you could turn it around. I love this thing. I got it at Michael's craft store and it just is the best. I love it. And it fits perfectly like right in here. Let's see, we have some decoration, more brushes. That picture, I. I do not like that, but kept it there because I was originally gonna replace it with something else. It never happened, so it's just there. And then over here I have all of my favorite, not all of my favorite, these are just all of my fragrances. I get migraines very easily from fragrance, so it's like when I can find a fragrance that works for me, this one is my favorite one on the planet, Santal 33. Um, I just recently got it re filled on January 10th. So you can actually take the bottle and go get them refilled in store if you're close to one, which I think is cool. Of course, not now, but maybe one day in the future you could do that again. This would be another favorite, Tom Ford. Mm-hmm, I'm, I'm a bougie ass bitch, I guess. But this one smells so good. It smells like summer. It doesn't give me a migraine. <laughs> Honestly, it could smell like shit, but if it doesn't give me a migraine, I'll still wear it. This is a nail polish bottle. I lost the cap. This has just stuff in it. And then in here I have like, uh, this one's all paperwork, taxes, stuff like that. Over here I have more drawers. These two are like my junk drawers, so I'm not gonna bother. In here I have, oh, just kind of a mixture of some things. Cleanser, masks, moisturizers, junk I'm trying to hide, shampoo and stuff some hair extensions. This is my hair drawer, clip-ins, face primers, face powders, foundations. I keep these because when this side is like mainly stuff I grab for my kit if I'm doing makeup for a client. So this side isn't really personal stuff. It's more of like things I can grab to stock my kit. The other side is like more of stuff I use and then same with the cabinets. So this side I really don't touch unless I'm doing makeup for a client. Then I come over here and grab some stuff, stock up the kit and giddy up. Over here I have more lip products. All of these down here are glosses. The other one was all nude lipsticks. Nudes, pinks, browns. And then over here I have the more dramatic lip colors. So really bright, vibrant ones or dark. And then just cute stuff that makes me happy like Saint Dorothy, my friend Erica over there. So over here I have a bunch of shoes on the floor because there isn't 
anywhere to put shoes in here. And I hate those hanging door things because then I can't close the door all the way. Up here, I have like some decor. Oh, potential merch. We've been working on these. I like this design, but I also wanted to see another design. So I think maybe fall we'll do this one, but it's super cool. So you can open it up. You could put your brushes in here and then it has um, this little bag in the middle. You could just put your goods in there, zip it up. Beep, beep, doo, doo. It's cute. And then I have some camera stuff here, cord, SD cards. And that, my friends, is my beauty room, filming room, office space. So I spend a lot of time in here, just me and my children. The room makes me happy, and I think that's what's important, is finding a space or a corner that inspires you and makes you feel good and is yours. Like, you can go sit there in your corner, and this is mine. If you've been watching me since my very, very first videos, I mean, you saw... I went from my living at my mom's house and filming on the floor because I didn't even have a chair. <laughs> I was on the floor filming on my phone. And it's crazy that like this is where I'm at. I constantly have these moments where I just like look around and I'm so thankful because never in a million years did I think I'd have my own apartment, let alone move out of my mom's house. I love my mom, don't get me wrong. I felt so bad, I lived with her forever. She couldn't get rid of me, I couldn't afford it. So the fact that I was able to move out is a huge accomplishment and um, it's just crazy. It's crazy how far I've come from the ground to a chair to my own room. Wow. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you liked this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. You make good choices and I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye. Too much, too much, too much. Bye.